Hi there, stampers and crafters, and welcome to take two of my accordion fun fold uh, class. And I'm hoping that I fixed the error that keeps kicking me off the internet. So we'll see. I am broadcasting live, so you just never know what's going to happen. As in, I forgot to turn the volume off, so you don't have to listen to me in uh, double time. <laughs> all right. So anyways, I'm going to do a quick recap because everything started. It was all fun and games, and then the internet kicked me off. And so... Now we gotta start all over again. Isn't that a darn shame? I hate it when technology just doesn't go your way. All right, so <laughs> hopefully you guys have found me for part two and hopefully this is the, the, the video that goes all the way through to the end. So here's what we're gonna be making. I'm gonna just recap real quick. You have a chance to win the Greatest Journey stamp set. All you need to do is drop a comment here and I will count the other ones from the other videos too. I also wanted to do a huge, huge shout out and thank you to everybody who participated in my Autism Speaks fundraiser. We were able to raise over $1,000. It was amazing. It's still open. You can use this link to, um, to, to participate if you'd like to donate directly to my Autism Speaks and you will get um, a free class from me for doing that um, if you participate. So this is what we're going to be making today. And it's a, it's a really easy, even if you're a beginner, this is super easy, fun fold card. This is um, just a basic. I actually got this idea from Joe Golden at the um, Million Dollar Celery Stampin' Up! Retreat last month. She had made this as a swap card. And I loved it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. It's easy to it's easy to do. It looks amazing. And you can do it for just about every occasion. Oh, I see some DSP lovers. You guys got the you, got, you guys see the sneak peek I, I threw in there. So we're gonna be working with some brand new products today from the new uh, Stampin' Up annual catalog. And uh, at not it's coming out in, in May. It's new to it's new to I've been working with it for a few weeks, so <laughs> I feel like it's already out, but for customers, it's coming out in May. For demonstrators, you can you can pre-order this now. This is called Fresh as a Daisy. This is just a real quick peek at the designer series paper. So this is what I'm using today. Isn't it? Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And there's a lot of the new in colors in it. And so if you guys haven't seen those, I'm going to be doing um, an in color, in color uh, special offer on the bundles again. Uh, it should launch next, next week. Uh, for some special offers, but they're very earthy tones. This mauve, I'm loving, loving, loving. And uh, so this super fun. You can see I've got some of them on here. So we're going to be playing with that in the stamp set and dies. Actually, I'm just using the stamp set on these cards, but it's the cheerful uh, daisies and the daisy dies. Stay tuned though. I'm working with some other cards with this and ah, love it, love it. Okay, so I'll make a couple of these just to show you how easy it is. And uh, if you're watching, be sure to click that like button, drop a comment, and be sure to subscribe if you're new, welcome, even if you're live or replay, and you guys can drop a comment. If you have any questions, be sure to you know, drop them down there, and I will try to answer them as I'm live. And even if I'm not live, I will answer them. Uh, I'll type in answers after. So super easy fold. So we're gonna start with the, um, I've got the Simply Score tool. You could also use the scoring blade on the um, paper cutter for this. And I'm starting with Pretty Peacock. Oh, who is excited to see this color back? So this is coming back into the core. It used to be an ink color and then it went away and we cried. They hurt us, they're bringing it back. There is a color refresh, new colors are coming and this one is gonna be stay forever. Well, forever until the next color refresh. <laughs> I do have a free PDF for you that has the measurements um, and the supplies here that, and the instructions for you. You can download this on uh, my blog. There should be a link in the video's description, no matter where you're watching, in, on YouTube, on Facebook, or on Twitter. And you can click that link or you can go to Stamp with Tammy, Tammy with an I dot com, um, and you can download it there. So it has all the information there because the measurements are probably the most important part of this technique. So again, you can use any scoring tool that you have handy, uh, trimmer, I'm using the Simply Score tool, and we are going to score at, I'll start with this is 11 by four and a quarter inches, uh, the, the, the card base, which is a standard card base. If you fold it in half at five and a half inches, that's standard size card base. Oh, lots of pretty peacock lovers out there. I agree, I agree. All right, so we're going to score this on the long side at, uh, sorry, my, my 
the handwriting is tiny, two and a half, three and three quarters, six and three quarters, and eight and a quarter. And again, you don't need to be writing this down because I've got a free PDF for you that you can just download and get it all for free. I like to make it easy for you. So that's gonna give us the scores for our card base. And as always, once you score, you really wanna burnish that, burnish those score lines good. I feel like that's the key to it not popping, popping open. Sorry, my camera doesn't like it when I work too fast. You guys probably don't either. <laughs> it, it gets all confused if I go too fast. I'm gonna just zoom in a hair here so you can see it a little bit more. All right, so here is the fold. It's gonna go bada bing. Come on camera, come back to me. Come back to me. There we go. So bada bing, bada boom. It's kind of like a, like a, double double z in a different like we have double z fold so i don't want to confuse it with that but it's like a z and then another z or now well, i can't really call it a w sort of but it's slanted okay so that's it this is the fold and then i pre-cut the um pieces for it we can go ahead and do those and then i'll do the yeah let's do the stamping now stamping now decorate now we'll decorate i started with that we'll continue with that Okay, so we've got that Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper that we love. This is actually Cajun Craze. Um, the designer series paper has the, um, oh my God, I'm drawing a blank on the name of this color. Copper clay, copper clay. So it does match the copper clay. You can see it kind of matches that. But I liked the Cajun Craze just really made it pop, especially next to the, the peacock. So I'm going with that one. Okay, so... I'm just taking some seal adhesive. Just really simple. This is very, very simple stamping here. There's any any level anyone can do what I'm what we're gonna do today. Not that anything I do is complicated. It really isn't. So I'm just taking this is seal adhesive, it's double-sided tape runner. And we're just gonna attach a pre-cut again. The measurements are on that PDF, but I've pre-cut the designer series paper. To, to fit inside these mats of Cajun Craze. And then we're going to attach. So we're gonna go, and I found one side though, let's go this way. They do fold, it does fold both ways, but I found one side fits the smaller better than the other. So I'm just gonna put that on the, so this is going to be our inside piece. And then, so it's going to fold like this. The second piece is going to overhang, but there's going to be a little reveal in that overhang. So I've just put um, adhesive just on one side. You don't want it on the whole thing, otherwise um, the hang overhanging part's going to stick to the bottom. You don't want that. Okay, so see, it's gonna give you a little bit of a reveal, maybe a half an inch of a reveal. And it's just coincidence that the daisy seems to line up there. <laughs> I just got lucky with that. I'm gonna do the same thing with the top piece, only adhesive on one side. And that's the side that's gonna line up here. And then that is going to, so we've got our little, I'll reveal, reveal, and then boom, accordion fold. And then it folds flat, fits in a medium size envelope. So it, it works on all of our stuff. Super cool, super easy, right? Super easy. All right, so to decorate it, I'm going to, and I wish I had put the ribbon on before I attach, but what else? We'll, we'll come to that after. I'm gonna do some stamping on two of these pieces. And I'm using Pretty Peacock, because I was so excited that it was back, I couldn't wait to break it out and start stamping with it. I love it when happy, happy things happen like Pretty Peacock coming back. So we're gonna stamp, your friendship means everything, and that's from that Cheerful Daisy set. Now, the next thing I'm gonna stamp is this long, it's a, a longer strip words that say, you made my day. This tag is from the, the die set, the Daisy die set, but here's the thing. It's just a hair too long 
to stamp it straight onto the tag like this. So I'm going to show you a little quick and easy technique. We love, we love fun techniques that make things happen in our world, right? So I've got post-it note and I'm going to cover the last two words. So it just says you made and then ink that up and the pretty peacock. And then I'm going to take the post-it note off and stamp that. I'll zoom in a hair so you can see it a little better. There we go. Better? Better. Okay. So you made right in the center top. Now, the trick to making this work and look awesome is that you've got to clean, <laughs> clean the, the ink off of that and then take a little piece of scrapper, in this case, the posty note. Come on, camera. Come on, come on. There we go. Okay. No? Yes? Goodness. I bought a new camera because the old camera seemed to always be refocusing. So I got a new one thinking that it would be better, but it's doing the same thing. I guess that's just my luck. So I'm just kind of stamping it on the scrap paper till there's no residual left on there. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm just gonna cover up the first two words, the ones that we just stamped with you made. So we're gonna ink up the two words that say my day. Then you can remove that so you can see the ink is only on that those two words. And then line that up. Because it's a photopolymer clear stamp, it's pretty easy to see through. Boom, ta-da! Now we've got that whole, that whole strip, made it fit, looks good all in one. I love it when things work out like that. So there you go. There's a quick little, uh, quick little tip for you on how to make the long words fit. Or sometimes you may only want part of a word. So we call that masking. And sometimes you maybe only want like the word day or you or something out of it. You can mask out the other words so that you can, uh, you can use them for, I mean, you can make other words out of them. You can do all kinds of cool things, right? So let's go ahead and attach these. I left a plain blank one in here and it's just little um, and right there so that you can sign your name when you give it to somebody you love and then you don't have to worry about writing a whole big long thing in there because it's just not enough room. So, <laughs> oh, you could write it on the back if you had a lot to say. And then the your friendship means everything's gonna go right in the middle. And then the part where I goofed is I wanted to put the uh, ribbon in before I attached that. So this is new in color ribbon. Love it. Oh yeah. Pretty colors right there. I love them. I love the earthy tones. So I am using the in color ribbon, the copper clay in color ribbon for this. And ironically, it seems to go very well both with the copper clay and with the Cajun craze that I used on the background. So it's kind of a two for one special there. I am doing what I like to call a faux knot. This is another one that I think is just simple to do. And it looks awesome because one thing I hear a lot from people, sorry, that's just me, you know, removing what I just put on there because I didn't mean to put it on it until I did this, um, is that they don't like the way they're not or their bows look. So this is a, this is going to be just one little tip. This is a, a very easy, basic tip on how to make a knot and every time it comes out good. So I just put a strip around the front, just use my regular adhesive to attach it. I've got another little piece here, I don't know, three inches, and I'm just going to tie that, slide it through underneath, tie once. And every time that comes, it looks, it looks good. So if you are not liking, and I know we all seem to be a little uh, critical of our own work. So if you don't like the way you tie things, that is a quick and easy way to tie a, a knot and have it look good. Every time I'm going to go ahead and re adhesive the back of that and attach it. Okay, so we've got, this is our flattened card. And then this is our folded card. And the last, actually second to last step, I'm going to take the words we just stamped, put some dimensionals on the back, 
and attach that. Now, it's I'm making it look like it's tied on here, but it's not really. I just, it's not loose. It's on there pretty good. It's not going to come off. And then I just kind of hit it so it looked like it was tied onto that ribbon. Just an illusion. The last step, playing with those new ink colors again. So these are um, dots, ink colored dots, glossy dots. And for this one, I, I took the, um, this is the copper clay dots. And I just had a little fun with it. I added, let's see, we're going to put a couple up here. So they catch your eye when you... When you look at the card, you see that little pop of um, glossy dot, and you're like, ooh, hoo, hoo, it draws you in. Of course, any kind of bling, I think, draws you in, right? Anytime you see bling on a card, you're like, ooh, hoo, fun. Your card is never fully dressed without its bling. Now it's complete. Aw, thanks, guys. Glad you love it. Super fun. All right, so... There we go. So that's our completed card. And there were so many fun um, designer series papers in that pack that um, I thought, well, let's have some fun and play with some more. So we'll do it one more time. We'll do this one quickly, especially for those of you who maybe had trouble finding me after I got kicked off and you're just getting on there now and you missed, you missed the fun part. <laughs> you missed the good stuff. Let's go redo it really quickly. I'll show it one more time. We'll bring in that handy dandy simply score tool now after after i make the second card i have a ton of uh the series to share with you so a lot more coming i got a lot of cards to share with you in a minute so stay tuned oh thanks you guys oh i love the love love the love all right so we're gonna start scoring at two and a half Three and three quarters, six and three quarters, and eight and a quarter. And if, if you are bouncing in late, I do have a free PDF for you, and you can click the link in the video's description to get directly to it for the easy button, I like to call it. So you don't need to write down those measurements. You can actually download that and get them. Okay, so again, you're going to want to burnish your score lines. Really good, that's gonna help it lay flat. All right, so that's the fold, and, and it is a Namby Turner. If you guys are Zoolander fans, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whereas you can refold it the opposite way. So until you decorate it, it can go, you can use either side. And I did mention, I usually find one side when you're going, and I pre-decorated these already. I used the copper clay for the mats, and I used the, um, the, the it's Moody Mauve, right? Moody Mauve for the, the Moody Mauve pattern paper. And I love that oopsie daisy. Super fun, right? All right, so. We'll just go. I, since I I, I pre-layered that part because that part is you know once you see it once you get you get it. But the the actual doing the scoring on the fold is what and and the folding it. Oh, I just goofed. All right, so this is a do as I do as I say, not as I do. I'm going to show you why you only want adhesive on one side. So only adhesive one side of your your panel. Don't do what I just did and do the whole thing. And the reason why is because when you fold it it sticks. If you have adhesive overhang right here, it sticks to what's below it. And then when the person opens it, it might even tear. So yes, Barbara, this fits into a regular size envelope. It folds flat, fits in a regular size envelope. As far as extra shipping goes, or, you know, an extra postage stamp that I can't tell you. Probably not with knots and, and bling. You might have to have it hand canceled, but you might want to check with the post office on those questions i don't know the answer so now we've got our boom boom and then i'm going to add some misty misty mauve uh bling to it and we have our card and here's another one with one of the other patterns i just i love this paper i i couldn't wait to play with it 
And what a what a great way to showcase beautiful paper than you know on a on an accordion card because <laughs> it really gives you. A... So these were with the um, fresh as a daisy suite that's coming out in the new catalog, and uh, very beautiful suite, beautiful products here. Uh, the the stamp set I used for the words, the dies. I actually did use the die. I thought I didn't, but I did for the tag, and um, the paper's just really beautiful. But wait, I've got more to share. Okay, and if, I also have information on, um, if you click the link on this video's description, if you want to know more about that new catalog or you want to, please close the card again. Okay, we got closed, closed, closed. There are photos of it closed too on my blog too. So if I'm going too fast for you, because I do have a lot I want to share, you can go back to the, you can see them on the blog closed. Um, I have some new stuff if you want some more information on this new catalog that's coming out or you don't have a hard copy or you want to get one you can click on the i have the information both in the the um, class page the same place you're going to find that free pdf or if you go to my blog stampwithtammy.com and click the catalogs page you'll find that information there as well because this is this is new the next thing i'm going to share with you is new 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 this is from um it's actually the die set here. It's Lazy Days. It's a bundle. You can buy them separately or you'll be able to buy them separately or together. Um, and it's the die set is really cool. It's like a porch and you've got a rocking chair. So I actually used, I'm going to bring this paper in again. This is the paper that I used on the first cards, the Fresh as a Daisy. And um, this one page here, it's like a one sheet wonder. You get all of these these patterns, right? And so I took this pattern, this this right here, and cut it to fit the accordion. And then I added the dies, the rocking chair die, and then this is like a little pergola, I think you call it, on the top there. So, and then it's got the, um, we we I forget the the name of the color there, but it's so pretty and the azure is new too. This this blue color on the back is new too. So um, that's the first one to share. So that's one another one coming out in the new catalog in the pre order, and the second from the new catalog. But lots more coming. These are just the second from the new catalog is. From the Zany Zoo, and there's a little cute little wheat. Thank you, De thank you, Deb, for that. I appreciate it. So, so I just, I love cute little critters. I, I just, they make my day. So I used, um, and this is actually Zany Zoo paper. There's cute little critters on one side, and then there's black and white patterns on the the flip side because they're double sided papers. So I used the black and white patterns for the designer series paper. And then I took the animals, these critters were cut out of the designer series paper. So cute, right? Oh, so fun. So fun. And then the balloons, there's little balloons inside the uh, the dies there. That, that's where those came from. So that's another one coming out in the new catalog. But wait, I've got so much more. Okay, so the rest of these I'm going to share are from the current catalog. So these are available in my online store now. And the first one is from Hello Ladybug. Let me... Let me um, in a little bit closer and um, this one is we've got ladybug we've got a camera that's not cooperating there we go <laughs> you know what I'll take the camera not cooperating to the <laughs> to the, um, the the technical difficulties that I had before I think I fixed that so it won't keep kicking me off again um, I hope so at least so so far I fingers crossed I shouldn't have said anything till the end of the broadcast but um, fingers crossed. So this one I took the ladybug stamp set and uh, the, the the punch, the ladybug builder punch and made these this one some fun on that. All right, the next one, I said I love those little critters. I meant it. Let's give it up for silly goose. Come on, who doesn't laugh when you read these, right? The, this the the two that I love the best, the sayings and the silly goose were goosebumps, get it? Goosebumps, give him the pound. And then <laughs> the silly goose, the silly goose told me it was your birthday. <laughs> the silly goose forgot. <laughs> 
so fun. And then I actually used some vellum here and embossed it for the background for an added touch. I will have tutorials and lists of everything I used for all of these samples uh, on my blog this week. So stay tuned. You want to you want to stay if you only watch my YouTube or Facebook, you're missing out. I share so much on my blog. So yeah, there's there's going to be written tutorials on the blog for all of those. Okay, next, I have been having a ball. Speaking of which, if you've been following me at stampwithtammy.com, you've been seeing this this week. I have been so hooked on this stamp set, and I just, I don't know, I just fell in love with it. You guys might have seen, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm working up to the accordion fold, but you guys might have seen this. I made this for Easter. It was the Rockin' Easter Bunny with the little Easter, the instruments from the Enjoy the Rhythm. This was a, one of the, this was a class that I did a couple of months ago. And this is uh, Theater Fold. So I have a video and instructions for this one on the blog. And um, these two I shared this week. This one is just so great for the teens, right? And then this one I shared yesterday, the triple time with the Enjoy the Rhythm. So these are all from this stamp set. All right, you ready? Because it's so stinking cute. What? Travel maker. Yeah, back to those teens, right? And then a little happy birthday. And the paper here is the, um, oh my gosh. I wrote it down and now I can't even, I can't even remember what it was. It's the daffodil. So, um, super cute, right? Is it the daffodil or the daisy? It's the, it's the daisy, it's the same paper. So, paper that we used on the original. The flip side of all of them has this wash. So one side has pretty daisies, one side has, has this wash. It seems the middle section white is supposed to be seen when closed. Sometimes, yeah, so I did them both ways. I, and some I had it the middle section hidden and then some I have a little reveal when you close it that's totally your preference when you close it um, you can go either way. yeah some of them I did make it so that you could kind of see that there was a little special something inside this one I hit it all right so that's that one and the, my last one the last one to share with you I'm also going to do a little reminiscing here this is from the on the ocean bundle because I love this ship. This is another one. Uh, the card base on that last one was Granny Apple Green. Uh, I'll, I'll have I'll have all of that listed on my blog coming up this week. I'll have the, the colors, everything I used, and the instructions for all of them. Any special um, special things I did on them. This is a theater theater shadow box card that I did with the on the ocean. I have a tutorial for this on my blog already. Um, but I love this. I love it. Right. So there's that. And then, wait for it, it's stuck. Okay. Okay. Then there's this, that I also have a tutorial for this, right? Fun pop-up ship cards, okay. So then I took it again, ready? What, yep, so this one's a little pirate ship. And then I made the, um, the ocean swell so it looks like they kind of carry I mean, what's open, but they look like they just carry over, you know, they kind of run in the stream. So I use the dies for that super fun. So I will have um, instructions for all of these coming up. Yes, the PDF, Cynthia should already be on my, not for these specific, the, the one that's up on my blog right now is the one, the cards that I made today. So it should be the Oopsie Daisy. It should say, should have the measurements on it. It should look something like this. Um, this one should be up the rest of them, but takes time to write them. <laughs> so I, I just usually when I want to do a video, you know, I'm like designing and if I waited to write all the tutorials and put them all out at once, I'd never get the videos done. So they'll be coming out this week. I'll be, I'll be writing them as I can and, and getting them out to you guys. So probably look forward to them over. I think there'll be one tomorrow. I forget which one's coming out tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Pam printed hers out. So it is there. And okay. All right. Yay. Glad. Okay. So it is there. If you click on the link in the video's description. All right, so that is my class for today. The upcoming series of the, or the 
kicking off the upcoming series for the Accordion Fun Fold. I hope you liked it. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget all the goodies uh, really quickly. The last chance list. Uh, we've only got like two weeks left before these things are gone forever. Um, a lot of stuff sold out fast, but there is still some left. And um, I shared some sneak peeks from the new catalog today in this class. If you want more information on my blog, either um, on this this post or you can click on the catalogs tab. And um, I, if if you love it all but are on a budget, <laughs> check out my VIP club because it's a great way to get free exclusive classes that you won't see public. They're just from my VIP club and my Stamp It Demonstrator members. And you can, you get special perks, you get discounts, special discounts, and other free stuff. I do drawings just for my club. And the last but best deal is the demonstrator kit. If you want it all and you want it now, especially these pre-orders, check out that demonstrator kit. All right. Well, thank you so much all for joining me today. Have a great weekend.